What's up guys, Mikkel here, and in this video, we're going to talk about two brand new developments in the Ripple SEC case, and while it's not anything major, the first one actually has to do with quickening the timeline for a summary judgment ruling, and the other has to do with increasing Ripple's chances of winning at the Supreme Court level. This is something you are definitely going to want to see. I also want to talk about towards the end of the video some major ripple fud that is going around the xrp community right now ripple just released a brand new product called liquidity hub and they do not have xrp as one of the cryptocurrencies in that product in this video we're going to talk about why that is the case there are a lot of people saying right now that ripple is just giving up on xrp they're not actually going to use it going forward I want to talk about that because there are some very important things we need to go over here. Like always, your support means so much to this channel. Make sure if you haven't already, you like this video and subscribe to the channel. It's going to help me out so much. Also, if you guys ever need a good place to buy some XRP or the Flare token, make sure to check out my favorite exchange uphold down in the description of this video. With that said though, let's jump right into it and I hope you guys enjoy the content. So I want to start out this video and talk about two new developments in the Ripple SEC case because both of these things are actually pretty bullish for Ripple. So the first one is that Ripple actually filed their response to the SEC's letter of supplemental authority. Now this was essentially the SEC just going to Judge Torres, presenting another court case to her and saying, hey, you should rule like this in this court case because this is how this other judge ruled in this unrelated case. So Ripple filed their response to that, and to be honest, neither the SEC's evidence or Ripple's response really mean anything. But the important thing to note here, and I actually covered this on the channel, is that the SEC filed their new evidence to Judge Torres pretty late in the process. I mean, we were waiting for a summary judgment decision from Judge Torres any day, and out of nowhere, the SEC was bringing new documents to the case. Because of this, Ripple had to file a response before Judge Torres could make a ruling. In the past, we have seen Ripple take as long as one to two weeks to file responses to letters like this, but Ripple actually turned this one around in about three days. So the good news about this is now we are back on track for a summary judgment decision from Judge Torres any day now. Like I said, I don't even think she's going to look at either of these motions. I mean, I'm sure she has to, but they're not going to show up in her final decision. Judge Torres has likely already made up her mind. These were two last minute filings that I'm sure it was kind of a delay tactic by the SEC. Ripple countered that by responding super quickly. But the good news is we are back on track now. This likely caused maybe a five day delay in the long run the sec came out of nowhere filed something and ripple immediately clapped back and said all right continue now just good news to see that ripple responded so quickly like i said i was worried they might have taken a week or two they didn't they turned this around pretty quick so that's definitely awesome to see I also want to point out some other good news because a lot of people were saying, oh, the SEC is going to take this to the Supreme Court. They're not worried about losing to Ripple there. Guys, what we see is the SEC is losing Supreme Court cases left and right. And this is something John Deaton pointed out a while ago, and I think it's going to turn out to be a pretty big deal. So Stuart Eldorati updated us just yesterday that the SEC has now lost five out of their last six Supreme Court cases. Now, this is amazing news because John Deaton has said this. If the SEC loses to Ripple at the Supreme Court level, that would be catastrophic for their attempt to regulate the cryptocurrency industry. And the reason for that is, right now, the main way to evaluate whether a cryptocurrency is a security or not is the Howey test. We all know that Howey test has a bunch of flaws, but the good news for the SEC is simply losing to Ripple in the current case wouldn't actually create a Ripple test, or in other words, it wouldn't replace the Howey test. But if this case went to the Supreme Court, the SEC could find themselves in a place where the Howey test was replaced by the Ripple test. Now, that would be devastating for the SEC because clearly they are not winning these cases at the Supreme Court level. So if they let the Ripple case go to the Supreme Court, and if the Supreme Court ruled that XRP was not a security, well, the SEC would be in massive trouble for every other cryptocurrency going forward. Right now, the SEC can kind of squeeze most of crypto into the Howey test because it's not that specific, and the SEC uses the test so loosely, they just try to make it work. But if the SEC was in a position where if they created the Ripple test, it would be game over for them going forward, and they would not be able to win on most cryptocurrencies. 
I think the SEC is going to try really hard to avoid going to the Supreme Court. And we see Stuart Alderati essentially pressing the SEC on this exact issue. He's tweeting out, knowing the SEC is going to see this, hey, you lost five out of your six cases at the Supreme Court level. You do not want this case going to the Supreme Court. It's just really good news to see this. It shows how confident Ripple is if this case does have to go all the way. Now, I have said multiple times, I don't think we're going to go all the way. I do think Judge Torres is going to give us the ruling we need, but the SEC can appeal Judge Torres' ruling. I think this right here is going to be a big reason they might be scared to do that. Now, I want to move on and talk about some XRP drama, and if you're someone who's not on Twitter, this was a good day not to be on Twitter. There was a pretty big freak out because essentially Ripple launched their new product liquidity hub and XRP wasn't one of the cryptocurrencies in their liquidity hub. Now, this was obviously pretty weird because Ripple already said in the past that they were literally creating liquidity hub for XRP. And obviously this caused a lot of confusion. There were some weird tweets by David Schwartz that didn't seem like they really made any sense. I'm not gonna go over them just because I haven't been able to fully figure out what he was talking about. But overall, people were really confused like Ripple. Why are you not putting XRP in your liquidity hub? Now, a lot of people were jumping to conclusions saying, oh, it's because Ripple doesn't actually care about XRP. They can't figure out new ways to use it. Essentially, Ripple's not including XRP because they don't feel like it, essentially. Now, I thought this logic was kind of out there. I mean, obviously, Ripple cares a lot about XRP. They're, they've spent $100 million in this current court case fighting for XRP, and people said the same exact thing about Ripple's ODL business. People were saying, oh, businesses are never going to use XRP. Ripple just launched ODL to make it seem like they were using XRP. No one's going to use it. Ripple's only product is RippleNet, which is the messaging layer. People were completely wrong. It turns out Ripple was using XRP. XRP was an integral part of ODL and all those people ended up being wrong. Well, what we saw today was almost that same exact reaction because it turns out there was actually a pretty logical reason why XRP wasn't included in Ripple's liquidity hub. Now, let me just say, first of all, all the people who pointed out that XRP was not in Ripple's liquidity hub were completely on the money. They were spot on. I'm only talking about the people who were saying that the reason Ripple didn't include XRP was because Ripple doesn't care about XRP. That is the furthest thing from the truth. Ripple is a steward of the XRP ledger. They hold 40 billion XRP. They are going to do everything in their power to make the XRP ledger and XRP as useful as possible. Now, with that said, the real reason why Liquidity Hub didn't include XRP, and funny enough, I actually speculated on this earlier in the day. I took some time and thought about it and said, oh, it's probably for this reason. And the reason is, is because Liquidity Hub is going to be heavily used in the United States. And because of the ongoing Ripple SEC case, companies in the United States feel uncomfortable holding XRP in the Liquidity Hub product because of the current uncertainty. So essentially, Ripple just had to take a step back and say, okay, we'll launch Liquidity Hub without XRP at first, and then add it later. And ultimately, it's the smart decision. I mean, one of the first things I noticed about Ripple is how customer-centric they are. They are going to do what their customer wants, regardless if it's necessarily best for the company. And that's the way you have to operate a company like Ripple. People are so skeptical of digital assets, they need to be so conservative because of the corporate layout they have. They're all getting scrutinized for even touching crypto. Ripple needs to make sure they do everything in their power to make sure these companies feel comfortable using their technology. And if that means not giving them access to XRP off the start while this court case is still going on, but adding it later, I think that's the best option. I mean, I don't think they should hold back this product just because companies are skeptical about XRP being in the product, launch it, see how it works, figure out the kinks, and then put XRP in afterwards. Ultimately, this makes a ton of sense. It cleared everything up. I really do wish Ripple said this off the start. I think they put some confusion out there and let people start speculating on things that weren't necessarily true, but it's so important to understand. Time after time, Ripple has proved they are not going to ditch XRP, and XRP is a critical part of their business. There is no reason they would not add XRP to the liquidity hub down the road. Once it has clarity, 
Ripple holds 50 billion XRP. That liquidity literally plays in perfectly to the Liquidity Hub product. They're literally acting as a lender of last resort and everything just fits perfectly together with XRP being in Liquidity Hub and with Ripple's amount of XRP. Ultimately, it's just a regulatory thing. It will work itself out, but I wanna leave you with this clip right here. Just if any of you had any last thoughts about whether or not Ripple was gonna shy away from using XRP in the future, whether or not they're getting ready to ditch XRP. Guys, Ripple has been so committed to XRP, it, it doesn't even make sense to question it. Listen to this. You know, well over half of our total transaction volume, because we do have a fiat and XRP enabled product called on-demand liquidity, over half of all of our transactions go through XRP now. Over half of all of our transactions go through XRP now. That has grown. And so, again, I, we're continuing to sign more contracts, more customers, and the con contracts and customers we have have grown, partly because we open more corridors, more currency pairs. You know, well over half of our total transaction volume. So let me repeat this one more time. People said forever Ripple was never going to use XRP for payments. Now 50% of their payments are going through XRP. This same thing is going to happen to Liquidity Hub. Guys, Ripple is going to come up with so many different ways to use XRP in their business. It's just going to take time and they need the demand. Right now, everyone is scared to touch crypto. Everyone is scared of the SEC and the regulatory side needs to be worked out before Ripple can go full force with these products. Ultimately, their products are working. Ripple has never done anything I have seen that makes me think they have been an irresponsible leader to the XRP ledger. So for me, they have all my trust and I think they'll continue to do a great job. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for coming. I hope you enjoyed this update. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. It really does mean so much. And for now, Mickle out. <laughs>